We'll start by installing Node.js, and you'll find that it is an extremely simple thing to install. You'll start by opening your browser and going to nodejs.org. This is the homepage for Node.js, and there's plenty of links here that you should check out, but for now, let's just start by clicking this big green install button, which is kind of in the middle of the page. If you click that, you can see right away you'll get a download. You can see mine is downloading right here. The website will recognize the operating system that you're on and give you the right installation. If I click on this downloads button here instead, you can see that there are installers for Windows, Macintosh, there are Linux binaries, Sun OS binaries, and of course you could get the source code as well. And I should mention also that if you want to look at the source code of Node, uh, you can also find that up on GitHub. If you scroll a little further down to other info here, you can see Git repository right there. You could go ahead and look at some of the code behind how Node is working. And if you are a little more familiar with JavaScript, it can be really neat to look at how the library itself is implemented. For example, these files right here actually implement part of the API of Node, which we'll be looking at a little later on. But it can be interesting to see that behind the scenes code, if that's what you're interested in. Anyway, our download has completed, so you'll want to go ahead and install that now. And depending on your operating system, the installation process will be a little bit different. Here on Mac, I just run the package, and you could step through it like this. Of course, you'll agree to the license, and then finally, you'll go ahead and click install. Now, I actually already have Node installed on this computer, so I'm not going to install that. However, you can run through that with whatever operating system you're on, and at this point, you will have Node installed. Now, how can you be sure? Well, go ahead and open your terminal. In my case, that is iTerm. You may use Max Native Terminal or iTerm or really any terminal program you want. And now I'm going to run node dash dash version. And as you can see, I'm using version 0.12.0, .0, which is the latest version of Node. You might also want to do npm dash dash version. And npm stands for Node Package Manager, which is an important part of using Node. Packages are basically collections of related functionality that other people have created and made available for you to use. And of course, you can make your own packages for personal use or to share with other people. And we'll look at these a little bit later on. So now that we know that we have Node installed, we're ready to give it a try.